Positively Jacks, a program to help our heroes is making waves. It is called Wounded Warrior Safe Harbor, and it offers support to members of the Navy and Coast Guard who become seriously ill or injured. Today, the program's leaders came here from our nation's capital to spread the word. They spoke with Channel 4's Vic Michalucci. A lot of our local service members get treatment here at the Naval Hospital at NAS Jacks, but sometimes they need even more help than that. And that is where this program comes in. It's good to know that I could pick up the phone and call somebody. Fort Lauderdale-based Coast Guardsman Chris North says that goes a long way during a difficult time. The, the program is awesome. He's been in the Navy's Wounded Warrior Safe Harbor program since February after he was diagnosed with a long-term and potentially life-threatening illness. After tests and tests and x-rays, they found out that I have vasculitis. Today, he and his wife are on base at NAS Jacks, among dozens taking part in a forum with the Safe Harbor Program's leaders from Washington. Emotionally and psychologically, it's all the what ifs, and we try to take the what ifs off the table uh, when we come alongside them so we can allow them to focus on their medical recovery. The point of the meeting is to hear from the families of sick or injured military members who need their services. So simply put, they served our country, and now our country is serving them. Correct. 110%. That's what we want to do, and we want to get better out of it. The program is not for everyone, but it's helped more than 4,000 members of the Navy and Coast Guard so far, giving them support when they need it the most. So you knew you weren't alone. Right. Just to support me and be there with me emotionally and um physically. Now, if you or a loved one want to apply for these services, there's a 24-7 hotline as well as a website. We've posted all the information you need on our website, newsforjax.com. At NAS Jax on Jacksonville's west side, I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station.